What's up guys, welcome back. So we're doing a little something different on the channel today. We are driving out to Avery Motorsports in Julian, PA. It's out by State College, about a two hour trip from our from home. We are going to pick up the new tractor. We're looking at the Bad Boy um, ZT Elite and the Bad Boy Maverick. Now by the time you guys see this video, obviously the title's probably gonna give it away on what we chose, but at this point, we're going to look at both of them and uh, this Avery Motorsports uh, closest place to our home that's actually got them in stock on the floor and they've been great the customer service has been awesome so far so we're driving out we're going to take a look at these things and uh, i'll give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a preview and uh, an overlook on it and i'll let you know what i think first impressions on it so stay uh stay with us and i'll pick up with you when we get there all right guys here we are at avery motorsports I can't thank them enough. This is a Sunday afternoon. They're actually, they're actually not even open on Sundays, but they were nice enough to come in and do this for me because of my work schedule and the fact that we live two hours away. But here are the two that we're looking at, the Bad Boy Maverick and the Bad Boy ZT Elite, both 2021 models. So I took both for a little spin and I gotta be honest, <laughs> not that the ZT Elite was uncomfortable, it was, and it was a, a nice little ride, but the Maverick, I'm gonna cover the differences between these two mowers a little bit later in the video, um, but I can tell you right now, one of the differences, the Maverick has a little bit better of a suspension and it is noticeable, not only when you're driving it, but even when you just sit in the seats before I even turn them on. So I'm pretty sure the Maverick is what we're gonna be taking home. I'll go over all the options that we're gonna get um, with it when we get back to the house, but those are the two we're looking at. And uh, I think the Maverick's coming home with us. So we'll see you back at the house. All right, guys, we just got back to the house. As you can see, we went with the Maverick, as I mentioned, 60 inch deck, and uh, we just pulled it off of the trailer. Haven't really done much with it yet. I did take it for a quick spin around the yard, um, you know, just to kind of get the, the feel for it. Um, but let me go over some of the features that we got with this thing. And I, then I'm actually gonna cut the grass for the first time and I'll pick back up and just kind of give you guys my initial impression after doing the, we have about five acres here. Some of it's wooded. I actually cut, I'd say about three. So I'm gonna cut the three acres and then finish the video up by just kind of giving you my first impression. So let me go over some of the options we got with this thing and uh, we'll take it from there. Let's start with the business end of it. We went with the Kohler Confidant 747 CC engine. I'm not going to lie to you guys, that's the one thing I didn't get that I kind of wanted. Um, unfortunately, it just did, they just didn't have it in stock. Where at the end of the season, I did want to go with the Kawasaki motor. They didn't have it. They also offer this in a Honda option as well, but that's kind of rare, kind of hard to get your hands on. So we did have to go with the Kohler. They did have the Kawasaki engine on the ZT Elite, but after getting in both of these things there at Avery Motorsports, the Maverick was just so much more comfortable. I decided to go with that option instead. So unfortunately they did not have the Maverick with the Kawasaki or Honda in stock. No one around me did, which is part of the reason we ended up driving two hours to get this thing. Um, so yeah, so we went with the Kohler. Hopefully we don't have any problems with it. I'll keep you guys posted, of course, um, if we do run into any issues with it. But as long as you take care of these things, you know, you should be fine. It comes with a three-year warranty, no matter what engine you get. So one of the other upgrades that we got, we did get the upgraded wheel. You can see they're kind of blacked out, five spoke. That's a that's an add-on. Um, if you don't get that option, they come with it's just kind of like a black hub almost. So went with the upgraded wheel package, 60 inch 60 inch deck as I mentioned. One of the other features that we got is the electronic deck, which this is a pretty cool little feature. So you can see this button right here, where it says deck up and down. So let me show you what that is. If you don't have that feature, what you have to do to change your deck height is this little foot pedal right here. You have to push that down and then use this knob to turn to the height that you want. As you can see, it, it ranges from one and a half to four and a half um, inches of, of cut. All right, so with that electronic action, or, um, the electronic switch, I don't have to do, use my foot for anything. So right now the deck is in the up position. You can tell the foot is pushed forward so now i can easily change the height that i want to put my deck to i'm going to keep it right at about well um, yeah let's put it at three and a half and now instead of having to use my foot or anything just press the down and if you watch the deck down there it's electronic and you can see the foot pedal coming back towards me as well all right so if you didn't have that feature again you just have to use your foot manually um 
to push that this pedal forward and then you can change that knob. Now you wanna have the deck in the up position when you change this. So again, if you didn't have that, you would push that forward, then you can easily change your dial to the height you want. Now that the deck is down, that doesn't change as easily and really you shouldn't. So I'm just gonna pick it back up. As you can see, the deck will come up, put the pedal goes forward, and then when you hear that noise, it's all the way up. Okay, and now you can easily change your dial again to whatever height you want it. All right, so that's the electronic feature there. Again, pretty cool little feature. One of the other things that we chose to go with, which I'm gonna do a separate video on this because I have to install it, um, because this wasn't built from the factory. They had this on the, uh, you know, as you saw on the lot there, but we did go with the advanced shoot system. You can see right here. I'll go over that in another video because I'll show you how to install it and then I'll, I'll kind of show you what it does and the advantages of having that. I, I am gonna get that on there. I'm gonna cut the grass tonight just as is um, because I actually kind of want to compare having you know the mower as is versus the advanced shoot system. But again, I will make another video showing you that, how that goes on the mower and what the advantages of it are. All right, so there it is in a nutshell. A couple of the other features on this thing that I wanna go over real quick, which kind of made me decide if anybody's out there wondering why I went with the Maverick over the ZT Elite. Two big reasons. Um, the suspension, as I mentioned, after taking these both for a ride around Avery Motorsports, I gotta be honest, there is a clear difference on the comfort level with the Maverick. Again, not that the ZT was uncomfortable, but this Maverick seat, man, it is, I feel like I can cut grass in this thing for six hours and, and be totally fine. I mean, it, it's that comfortable, no joke. The other reason that I, so that's that's really, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of the biggest reason I went with the Maverick is just for the, the comfort. The other kind of big reason that I that I went with the Maverick is the, it's got 3200 hydro gear, um, 10 cc transaxle on it. The 3200s, from all the research I've done and you know the people that I've talked to, the 3200s are just much more reliable. The ZT Elite comes with the 3100s. Again, not that they're bad, nothing wrong with them. It's just the 3200s are, are known to be a lot more durable, a lot better of an option. So those are really the two, they're really the only two reasons that I went with the Maverick over the ZT Elite. I'm not gonna lie, I actually kind of liked the look of the ZT Elite a little bit better just because the wheels that you can get on the ZT Elite, I, I know that's kind of silly, but again, I, I just like the look of it better. But uh, the comfort on this Maverick and the fact that it has the 3200s um, for the transmission, I mean, that that to me, you know, you, you just can't beat that, um, especially for the, min the minimal price difference between this and the ZT Elite. I'm gonna show you a couple other things real quick. Again, I just got this home, but just a couple other things that I've noticed with these bad boys, the fact that you can get at these things so easily. If you lift up this foot, look how easy it is to get at the spindles and the belt and all that stuff. I, as far as I know, there's not many mowers out there that make it that easy to you know get at all these moving parts if you have to. One other thing I wanna point out real quick too, and this is just something small, something silly, you probably wouldn't care about this, but it's something that's, that bad boy offers. The padding on the foot area matches the tread on the tires. So again, just a cool little feature that they, that they offer. Um, they, this also has the adjustable handles so you can unscrew this star and you can you can move the upper part of the handle forward or back um, again just to make it a little more comfortable for you if you come around the back it does have a seat belt on it as well so this thing goes up to nine miles an hour that may come in handy <laughs> when you're hitting bumps and stuff like that but if you come around the back to get to the battery and everything this bar down here if you just lift up on that you can get at the batteries and i mean bad boy really kind of thought the design of this mower through it is so easy to get at anything and everything if something should go wrong um so i really love the design of this motor or i'm sorry of this track of this mower i should say um so i'm gonna get on here i'm gonna cut the grass and i'll pick back up with you guys we'll wrap the video up by you know me just kind of giving you my first impression after we get the first cut done but there it is 2021 bad boy maverick all right, so I ran out of time last night when I got done cutting the grass, so we're gonna finish up the video. Here we are the next day. All I'm gonna say is, wow, this thing is a beast. I wanna cover a couple of things real quick before I go into um, the actual cutting, though. Uh, a couple of things that I haven't mentioned yet. The tires that come on the Maverick, I believe these are stock as well, whether you get the upgraded. I know we, I mentioned the wheels. 
the upgraded wheels on it. But the tires on this thing are called the Reapers. Um, the, I'll put the size on your screen. I can't remember the size off the top of my head. Uh, but I believe the Reaper tires are stock on the Maverick. Don't quote me on that. But again, even the ones that I saw on the, um, uh, on the lot that did not have the upgraded wheels, they still had the Reaper tires on them. All right. Def those tires are awesome. Our gra my grass was actually a little wet because we live in the Northeast. And if you're anywhere around me, you know, we can't go two hours without rain. So, uh, but the tires held up well. I didn't get stuck anywhere. They didn't spin anywhere, tear up the grass anywhere. They were perfect. Um, I'm going to have my wife bring the camera in a little bit closer because I kind of just want to show you um, if you're if you're new to you know zero turns in general which i am this is my first zero turn i just kind of want to show you the the general features of it real quick and then i'll uh, i'll show you how it handled the high grass and all that good stuff so i'm gonna have my wife bring the camera in a little bit all right first off to start the mower you have to have your um throttle arms whatever you want to call them they will go out and lock into place once they're fully extended out to the sides. You'll know because once you have them in the right position, they, they don't go front or backwards. They have to be in that position to start the mower. This is your parking brake right here. Having it up is in is in the locked or, or um, you know, that's the, the brake is active. If you push it down, the brake is now off. All right, so to start the mower, you have to have it in the up position. This right here is your throttle. So anytime you're doing a cold start or if you haven't started the motor in a while, you'll have to pull that up. Now this should be pretty warm. Um, so I'm, I'm probably not gonna have to engage the throttle, but if, you do, if you're doing a cold start, you just pull that up and that uh, gets the throttle, or I'm sorry, gets the, uh, the choke on there for you. All right, gas gauge is right here. Gas um, can or where, where you're gonna pump the gas into is right there. Now coming over to the other side, I kind of mentioned that the, the dial for the cutting height. Where I, I showed you the whole, you know, the motorized deck up, deck down option. This is your throttle speed. So I have it in the, the slowest position now, and then you can take it all the way up, um, up to the, it, there's a picture of a rabbit there. That's obviously the fast speed. This is your, um, your PTO switch. This is what basically engages the blades. So once you have your mower on and you're ready to actually start cutting, you pull the, the, um, the PTO switch up and that'll turn your blades on. And of course you'll hear that and you'll actually feel them kick in as well. And then of course your key. So again, to turn the mower on, arms all the way out to the side like that. Brake is on, choke if you need it. Mine should kind of turn over because it should be pretty warm. And then just turn your key. Two other things I want to show you. So the rollover protection system, the ROPS as they call it, this thing you can actually lower out of the way. Okay, it's basically all it is is two pins. I already popped them out just to kind of save a, a little time. But there's one on each side, one over here and one over here. You take those two pins out and you can lower this out of the way. And if you can see, there's another hole that would line up right there where you can pop those back in and use your cotter pin, lock it in place on each side, of course. I'm probably gonna keep mine in the down position. We do have some low hanging trees around here. Um, I actually hit one <laughs> within the first 10 minutes of cutting the grass yesterday. Popped the wheelie a little bit, kind of scared the crap out of me. But anyway, um, so I'll probably leave mine in the down position. That easy to take, to you know, pick it up and down. We're, we're, we're relatively flat on our property anyway, so I'm, I'm not gonna need that much. Um, the last thing I want to show you real quick before I talk about a little bit about the cutting and wrap the video up is the um, if you need to move the mower and let's say for whatever reason the engine died anything like that and you need to manually move it obviously you'd have to have the parking brake off so in the down position and then if if you get down here hopefully you can see this okay there's one of these on each side so one down here and one down there but I'll have my wife bring the camera in kind of close and show you exactly what it is. The manual doesn't go over this in much detail. So right here, right now this is in the, um, the factory position. So the mower is going to you know, work as should. If you need to move it without the engine running, all you got to do, and you have to do this on each side, pull this all the way out. And you can see there's a little skinny cotter pin right there that I'm moving with my finger. Just take that out of there. And then you're going to pull this all the way out and you're going to get to a point where you start feeling a little tension pull it a little bit more and then you take that cotter pin and pop it up in there to keep it in the fully extended position again do that on each side and then that would allow you to um 
to move the mower without the engine running, okay? Um, for whatever reason, if you have to do that, it's that simple. And then when you're ready to use the mower, as you should, um, just push, push those back in, put the cotter pin back in place, and you're good to go. Now, these things are heavy. You're not going to push this thing all that easily. I actually do this um, to get it in and out of my garage just because my garage, we have a smoke detector in there. So if I start this in the garage, it's going to set the smoke detector off. So I actually do use this function to push it out of the garage, start it up, let it warm up, and then get on and go. All right, so that's really the options that I wanted to show you. Um, let's get back to the cutting real quick and we'll wrap this up. Cutting guys, honestly, sorry, there are gnats everywhere <laughs> flying around in my ears, my eyes. But anyway, um, cutting, I, I couldn't be more impressed with this thing. If you guys are on the fence with this, pull the trigger. It is an absolute beast. The comfort, the comfort with this thing, I am 100% happy that I went with this over the ZT Elite after cutting the grass with it um i did i did our entire property in less than an hour and a half now this is my first time on a zero turn i have no experience with them there is a little bit of a learning curve to drive them and operate them i'm only going to get quicker and, and better with it so to cut my my mowing time down it used to take me about maybe three hours or so give or take with my john deere which um wasn't a zero turn it was a tractor but it, it wasn't a zero turn used to take me almost three hours now i did it in less than an hour and a half and that was my first time using this thing um mowing the yard so i couldn't be happier it is an absolute monster i'm going to show you real quick maybe i'll put a, a little video clip on the screen of the high grass that i cut with it we have a section down the far end of our property where the last people who owned it didn't really cut that grass down there and it's really high you'll see it in the little clip and this thing handled it with ease I, i'm, I'm going to be able to cut all that down no problem whatsoever motor didn't bog down at all I, I just i couldn't be happier with this thing so all right um any questions comments concerns let me know if you guys own one of these let me know what you think did do you like it did you have any problems with it do you you know i like to hear from you guys if you if you did own one of these or if you do own one of these or even if you're thinking about it if you guys have any questions on it that i may not have covered let me know and uh, i'll be doing that other video on the advanced shoot system very soon all right, so questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. We'll get them addressed for you, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Take care.